Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. And in this episode, I would like to explain the shingles vaccine because shingles can cause lots of eye problems when there's an outbreak around the eye. Uh, this includes inflammation, pain, or even uh, scarring or clouding of the cornea, which can interfere with vision. If you look back to a state of sight episode number 73, I go into more details about the shingles virus and the problems that it can cause around the eye. Uh, but today I would like to go into more detail about the vaccine. You may have seen commercials recently about the shingles vaccine explaining that if you have had chicken pox, then the virus already lives inside of you. Now this is a little bit scary and of course it's marketing, but it's completely true. This virus, uh, after you've had chickenpox, which is the varicella zoster virus, or also called herpes zoster virus, can live in the sensory nerves and then come out in a reactivation along one of the nerves. Uh, with this outbreak, if it goes to the nerve we call the V1 nerve or the V1 distribution, it can be running from uh, up in the head to the forehead to the eye and then down the side of the nose. Uh, when we see this, that's when we are concerned about eye problems. And the vaccine is very effective in preventing outbreaks of shingles. Now, it's not 100% effective. Uh, maybe between the studies, it shows it's maybe between 50 and 70% effective. And we're not sure about the long-term effectiveness since it's available since 2006. Uh, after five years, it appears that maybe the effectiveness decreases. At this time, the vaccine is approved for people ages 50 and older. Uh, that's when we tend to see shingles, although we can see it in younger people, uh, even um, into the 20s or even younger, but it's more common with older people. And now we wonder, since there is a chickenpox vaccine that children are receiving, that in their future, uh, hopefully they will not have a chance to have shingles since they have never had uh, chicken pox. Uh, with that, they uh, are not exposed to the virus, so it doesn't have a chance to recur in them. Uh, but then also we wonder if, since we are not naturally being exposed to more virus as these uh, children start growing up, if we don't get natural boosters to our immunity and we may have more risk of seeing more shingles as time goes by. Uh, so if you have any questions about this vaccine or the shingles virus and how it may affect the eye, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.